Hello and welcome to the second edition of Paleo News. Today we're going to be covering three discoveries that have been reported in the mass media in the last two weeks. That's the 3rd to the 18th of August 2010. Firstly, we have a fossil crocodilian from the age of the dinosaurs, or more specifically, the Cretaceous period. It was discovered in Tanzania in eastern Africa, uh, which at the time of the dinosaurs would have been the southern continent of Gondwana, and it was reported in The Guardian on the 4th of August. Its name is Pacasuchus Capil Capilimae, I think I've said that correctly. Um, and it is not a close relative of modern crocodilians, but a, uh, according to the article, an, effect, uh, an effective or successful side branch of the, uh, of the taxon. Uh, it shows something called marked, or it shows marked heterodonty, which basically means it shows different types of teeth, much like a uh, modern mammal has incisors, molars and canines. And this has in part led to it being hypothesized to have been cat-like in its behavior. Um, and the, the actual scientific paper says that it would have taken over ecological niches, which would in the northern continents at the time have been reserved for more mammal-like animals. Um, one unfortunate part of this story is that the Guardian reported this in their dinosaurs section on their website. And call me a pedant, but as far as I'm concerned, there's a reason we have taxonomy, and it isn't so people can get it wrong. Our second topic today is slightly more controversial. Um, it is about the publication of a paper which describes possible butchering marks found on bones that are dated to 3.4 million years ago. Now, these butchering marks are indicative of the use of stone tools, or indeed any form of tool, in the butchering of the, of the animal that these bones belong to. And given the area that these uh, were found, it has been hypothesized that they are from, uh, or that the butchering was done by Australopith Australopithecus afarensis, which, if you're familiar with them, includes the very famous 1970s fossil Lucy, uh, the namesake of the Beatles song Lucy in the Sky with Diamonds. Uh, this discovery, if it proves to be correct, uh, pushes back the first use of tools from its current estimate of 2.6 million years back to 3.4, which is quite quite some leap. And, however, it is slightly controversial for several reasons. First of all, no tools have been found at this site or at any other site in that intervening uh, million year or so gap. Um, Secondly, the bones were found on the surface. They were not found in a rock strata, they were just found lying about. So the dating has not been as simple as it could be, and some scientists are currently considering it slightly dubious for that reason. And another reason is that uh, they remain unconvinced that the marks themselves are in fact butchering marks. For example, they, take, they occur on the wrong place on the bones to be... 100% certain that they were butchering marks, and also that the marks themselves are more closely resembling uh, tooth marks, which it has been suggested have come from a crocodilian bite. So, at the minute the story remains controversial and unproven, but it's certainly interesting, and if it proves to be correct, as I've said, it will push back the first use of stone tools by just under a million years. Our third and final story today is something that was reported on the Natural Environment Research Council's online news service, Planet Earth Online, uh, yesterday. And at the time of filming yesterday is the 16th of August. And it is the discovery of a primitive form of brachiopod, or a brachiopod-like fossil that existed 430 million years ago, which is uh, uh, sometime in the old edition, and that's my dating escapes me. Um, and it's interesting because, for a start, it's a very small fossil. It's 1.7 millimetres across. Absolutely tiny. And it was found attached to a shelled brachiopod of the same era. And it's particularly interesting because it was a shellless brachiopod. That is to say, one without the typical two valves 
or two valve shells that you find on bracket pods and bivalves today and it is useful because there is a point in the fossil record significantly previous to the date of this fossil, this fossil is 430 and there is a gap in, there is a gap in the fossil record in uh, just before the Cambrian explosion where we have a small shelly fauna and then before that we have nothing because there was nothing to preserve and finding this shellless bi uh, brachiopod I'll, might allow for people to know what they're looking for when they go back further in time and are looking for fossils without the shells in the first place. Okay, that's everything I have for you today, and I hope you've enjoyed it, and I will see you in about two weeks' time.